new wavelengths, more power, innovative features, and allegedly totally game-changing brand new panels. These features and more are all hitting the red light therapy panel market in 2026. So let's have a look at what we know and um, a few things that I think are coming down the pipeline. I'm affiliated with some of the companies mentioned in this video and I will earn a commission if you buy through my links or discount codes. Products were provided to me free of charge and all opinions are my own. This is not medical advice. All right, so first up, what has already launched? These are late 2025 launches. Uh, Platinum LED, of course, launched their Biomax Pro range. They've still got their Biomax range. This new Pro range is more power, more features. It's for professionals. Well, it's not for pro professionals. It's like Apple have their Pro devices and then their regular, regular devices. I guess Platinum LED have done the same thing. So what do you need to know about the new Pro line? Well, they've somehow added more power. They've redesigned the whole internals increase the power now is this a good thing uh, look i i remember saying a year or two ago with the uh, was it was it the eighth gen biomax i'm like i think we've hit a limit in terms of how much power we need uh and i've gone past that twice i i don't know if you need this much power i think we're getting to a point where it's too much of course it does open up options you can step further away from the panel and get the same dose um if you wanted to treat one area high concentration you could but of course these are large panels anyway look uh, uh, check out my full review for my true thoughts on that but they also included their zero gap design so they pushed the leds right to the edge this was a great upgrade because previously if you got multiple biomax panels it left a big dead zone uh, where they joined so this is a nice addition they also added a few more advanced controls with their panel and they added pulsing though these things are nothing new they've been around with other panels for two years now i actually am a little bit disappointed with the interface itself it used to be really nice but it's a little bit outdated and now with these extra features i actually feel like it's it's lacking it's it's a, it's not as nice as it could be hopefully that will change maybe in 2027 if they release a new panel oh and another thing i should mention about the biomax pro range we saw lab data looking at how much power is actually going to the 1060 and the blue light uh both unique well no they were originally unique to the biomax panel but not anymore as we saw the the power output for these wavelengths was very very low so much so that i have to say they're just marketing box ticking you know look at me sort of features which is yeah I, I mean i wouldn't be rushing out buying a biomax saying oh it's got the blue and the 1060 uh now that we know how how little how underpowered they are so anyway i don't expect a new panel from platinum led in 2026 because they just launched the biomax pro however who knows maybe late 2026 we could see something new but typically it's about an 18 month cycle oh and one other thing with the biomax pro they're still using their single chip leds so you still have that polka dot concentrated effect uh where a lot of light is going to one wavelength then nothing beside it so that hasn't changed i know a lot of people were quite disappointed by this now also late in 2025 mito red light came out with their new mito adapt 4.0 now this new panel has eight wavelengths they've kept the 590 nanometer amber i think that's a good addition especially for those wanting benefits with skin health but they've also added 940 nanometer near infrared now this is it's unique okay that's it's got that going for it but I, it's nothing that really excites me i mean there's not a lot of crazy cool research on 940 uh yeah, i mean there's a little bit but it's it's nothing that really jumps out like I don't know i don't even know if it would be in my top 10 wavelengths in terms of benefits but hey they've added it in there of course i've still got a touch screen control panel they've got 11 presets i don't know if this is the first time i think it might actually be the first time mito red light have uh, enabled that preset mode smart mode of course that was a big innovation two years ago now it's kind of standard and it's still dual chip leds and it looks like it's the same design as well if you want i'll try to get my hands on one of these and review it just um i'll put a link to a review request form so let me know because we quantify how many requests we get through and if there's a lot 
of a particular company or product, then yeah, we'll try to do that. So links are down below. Okay, and another late 2025 launch was by Mito Light. Now this is the European company. Now this company used to ship worldwide, but recently they've just changed it to shipping only in the EU. I'm told it's not a permanent change, but for the time being, yeah, you can't get these panels in the States. So they have their new 5.0 fifth generation range. Pretty much you're getting more LEDs. Uh, it's a new design, like a new shape, sorry. I think it's a more practical, user-friendly shape, which is good. We've got six wavelengths, just your red and your near infrareds, and they've got four preset modes. That's interesting, there's only four. Um, most of them are six, eight, 11 modes, but it's better than nothing, I guess. It also looks like the power is up a bit. But again, this is only suitable for EU, UK customers. Hey, I might review that again. Let me know if you want a review. Uh, and also real quick, speaking of new things, have you seen my new AI assistant tool? Uh, published it over at lighttherapyinsiders.com. Just head there, click the help me button. It is very cool. I, I have to admit, I'm pretty excited and, and proud with how effective this tool is. You can just run any question like what is the best panel for my budget or i have this panel how should i use it for this condition it's trained on all of my content all of the science we, uh, we've reviewed it's it's yeah check it out i think you'll enjoy it okay and now what's about to launch what are some panels that are due to hit the market in 2026 that i'm aware of first up we have block blue light now they're releasing their sixth gen panel range and now i know this for a fact because they did a very quiet launch of uh, the sixth gen range in one product. So their ultimate, their, their big panel, that was updated in the middle of Black Friday, actually, uh, to the new 6.0, sixth gen range. I reached out to the company founder. He said the other panels aren't due to be updated until quarter two, 2026, um, all going well. So what do we need to know about these new updates? Well, you're getting more power and you're now getting seven wavelengths. So They've added in 590 and 640. 590, of course, is what Mito Red Light have. Uh, 1060 is what Platinum LED have. Though remember, they have it in very low power output. And the wavelength split here is pretty even. 16% uh, to 590, 16, 17% to 660, 17% to 630, 13% to 850, 14% to 830, 14% to 810 and then 9% to 1060. Until I test it, I, I don't truly know, but Block Blue Light are pretty credible. They've, they've always tested their uh, metrics and you know, they're pretty good on that front. It looks like you're gonna get a good dose of 1060 if that's what you want. Uh, what is interesting though, is the amount of 590 in there. It's like the second, third most powerful wavelength. So yeah, that is quite interesting. I still actually think like having more of the power going to those tried and tested cytochrome c oxidized optimal wavelengths being in your 630 and your 830 window i still think that's like the best way to do it and then you add these other wavelengths in now i know that's what platinum led do with their biomax but i think the other wavelengths are too underpowered so i, th I think a bit more of a middle ground uh so it is interesting to see Block the light with so much power going to the 590 of all wavelengths. But still, this is uh, going to be very attractive on the market, especially when it's available in their smaller mega elite uh, and this even smaller tabletop panels, because yeah, they're a great company and, and their products have always performed well in my reviews. But remember, if you want to buy any of these panels, um, links are down below and you get discounts. So Take advantage of that. Now, what else is expected to launch? Uh, I hope I can say this. I probably should have checked, but I do know. I, I mean, it's most companies are trying to push out new products all the time, right? Like uh, I'm pretty sure any company is thinking one, two product generations ahead because it does take a lot of time to design it, to test it, to get tooling made, to then get the production up and running, to get, then get the product shipped to the warehouse to get all the accreditation. Hopefully they do that. That is actually something I'm gonna spend a bit more time looking at in 2026 in my reviews. But what I'm saying is you can't just have an idea and sell it a week later. We're talking six, nine, 12 months sometimes from idea to shipping. So I'm sure companies are always working on new products. Now there is another company out there, good panels. This company, uh, I'm, I'm told, I've been told that, yeah, they're working on something 
magical something that is going to change the red light therapy space uh, I, I was told that it's going to cause big changes for me in terms of how i review products and how i have structured my panel comparison tool check that out if you haven't already so that's that's all i know it's meant to be very unique and novel other than that i don't know what else i mean it sounds exciting i don't know when this is coming out uh hopefully soon of course because yeah it sounds sounds really cool um i don't really know what they can do but uh look stay tuned for that one of course as soon as i know more i will be sharing it here okay so that leaves two other big companies big panel companies at least uh then i don't know what's happening so the first one is rouge they have been consistently good performers though with their launch of the g4 panel you know it was stand out like exceptional panel good price point good features good wavelengths good uh panel option controls wavelength controls good warranty all of those good things in fact it was it's been one of the hot sellers in terms of what people have been asking me or what people have been buying they've been telling me what they've been buying for late 2025 so i don't know i haven't heard anything about new panels from them nothing at all like i said though i'm sure every company is working on a new generation but right now i i think they're happy with what they've got so i don't expect any changes there anytime soon but i mean be surprised the other company is Huga. Uh, they have their Ultra line, which I think is a is a good panel, especially at the lower price point. Again, I haven't heard anything about new panels there, so we just have to watch this space. I got a question though: What would you like to see in a new panel? Like, what's on your dream wish list? Honestly, I'd, I'd be curious. And is there a company out there that I've missed that you are hoping updates their panels? Leave them all below.